Welcome to Papago Park here in the Phoenix metro area. You're looking at a 2004 Acura TSX that's owned since brand new from my friend Hai. Now Hai is obviously no stranger to my channel. We talked about his 1993 Honda Accord Special Edition not too long ago and I'm here to warn you this car is just as clean and what's kind of interesting is this car came to life almost exactly 10 years after Hai's Accord. You'll remember when I was discussing my blue TSX, it's 2006, I talked a little bit about TSX model history. So this car went on sale for 2004 on April 3rd of 2003. High's car, the pearl white that you see here, was built in June, two months later, and he took delivery on July 17th. So he was definitely a very early adopter for the TSX and uh, to nobody's surprise, he's kept it for all these years and it looks just as good as it ever did. And the TSX is powered by the infamous K24 motor. This version has 200 horsepower and 166 pound-feet of torque. So it's a very capable car. It's a beautiful handling machine. Uh, I also recently drove an automatic version of this. Some of you remember a Canadian spec car that came from Ottawa. Ontario uh, that my brother is now commuting in that's a great car for his purposes and uh, These cars I just think were excellent packaging when new the design has aged well and I'm a firm believer that these are future collectibles in uh, particularly good shape like this one Just to show you guys the level of detail here. This car is quadruple matted rubber mats two layers of aftermarket carpet, and the factory mat. So get a load of that. Here's a rare look at the completely raw interior of the TSX. Got the uh, towels off the seats, the multiple floor mats off the floor. Just as primo as they get for being 20 years old. Back seat, as they say, looks like nobody's ever sat in it. Just a little piece of learning that I got from High just now. Apparently the interior combination uh, seat upholstery wise was what drove which kind of wood grain or not that you ended up with in this car. So this is the, uh, they call it type F interior, which is funny because type F dates back even to the legend days, the type F was called ivory. So that kind of carries on here. You can see the really nice aluminum pedals down here in the footwell, TSX embroidered floor mats, the perforated leather seats. Now these are notoriously sort of problematic for Acuras from the early 2000s, but these seats obviously have held up exceptionally well. And take a peek at the odometer, 80,449 on this beautiful TSX six-speed manual. A little bit of show and tell while I'm over here. This is going to illustrate High's little die-cast car. It looks like this is a limited production Accord that, interestingly enough, has his same wheel design. They're just not chrome. It says one of 1,494 pieces and uh, beautiful die-cast for the collection. And then here's the window sticker. So as I mentioned, uh, it's a pretty early production car. If I'm reading this correctly, it was number 9684. And notice from the J series on the VIN, this is a Japanese built car from the Sayama assembly plant, stickering at 28,990. It looks like they call this parchment interior. So interestingly enough, the Type F was referred to as ivory in the legend era, but it became parchment in the TSX days. Car and Driver talks about born in Japan, reared in Europe, and thankfully blessed for America. I love that quote. Similar to the Accord Special Edition, this car also has a service log dating back to the original purchase date. He has the mileage intervals here laid out, as well as a few other notes, obviously, on the car's mechanical history. Every dollar, every mile, every gallon of gas accounted for. Here's the brochure. We'll take a look real quick at the colors. This was the premium white pearl, which is interesting, again, because looking at the model year changes in the 2000s, my TL Type S, that was a 2007, was white diamond pearl. 
be very curious to get premium white next to white diamond and see sort of how they compare. I've never done that before. I remember this picture. I remember when this car came out. Uh, it was really just a cool sports sedan. And I think, as many of you do, that the design has aged exceptionally well for being two decades old. And without getting too in deep in the weeds here, I'll just illustrate the stack of receipts here. Uh, comprehensive service history. Because the car only has 80,000 miles on it, it hasn't needed a ton of heavy duty service items, but high, as I mentioned in the prior video, is a believer in preventive maintenance. And so a lot of what gets done on this car is per time-based intervals as opposed to mileage-based intervals. Yet another model specific feature here are unit specific. This is the custom paper towel holder that's mounted here in the trunk. Notice right behind it is the navigation disc uh, docket here. So pretty cool little invention. Here's the build date information since we talked about it. June of 2003, 